Hello fellow simmers and welcome to my speed build. Today we will be building a lighthouse on the Bedlington bathhouse, no, sorry, Bedlington boathouse lot. So right now I am building the shell. I actually, I'd actually started building this and I was just, you know, focusing, you know, like just building. And I realized after I had finished like the whole shell, the roof, like the, the paint and everything, I realized that uh, I'd forgot to hit record. <laughs> so I'm actually go gonna go through the beginning of this part pretty quickly because I bulldozed everything and then just started over. So I was doing it from memory. Like I hadn't really gotten that far, but it was enough that I was a little bit annoyed because getting the shape down how I wanted it and in a manner that looked decent had taken me a little bit of time. I'd probably spent about 20 minutes on it. I was kind of looking at pictures of lighthouses on Google. It, and you know, a lighthouse, it, it's not really a building that The Sims is well equipped to build. <laughs> so I kind of, you know, had to take creative liberties with trying to get it to look like an actual lighthouse. Like I had to use the tallest wall heights because otherwise it just looks like this little squat octagon. Like it doesn't really look like a lighthouse. So I had to use the tall wall heights, which I don't like, especially when I get toward the end and I start decorating the inside. It's terrible. I hate decorating inside with tall wall, he wall heights because th no matter what you do, there's always that extra space up at the top of the wall unless you just like fill it with a bunch of art and, but then, I don't know, it's, it's just bad. It's bad. I'll every once in a while do a medium wall height, but I don't think, I can't think of a time that I've actually like legitimately used the tall one, like ever. I think it looks bad. <laughs> But we used it today because we needed this to be as tall as we could make it. So I did use brick on the outside. Um, I made the little dome roof, which was really nice. At least we have that. Even if we don't have circular walls, at least we have a circular roof. And then I decided to put all of it on a foundation. It does kind of give it that little bit of extra height as well. But I started off like just a big square and then I cut the corners off and I think I ended up making it like a lot smaller and then I put like stairs all around the edge. I don't know, it looks really cool. There's not really an easy way to like cut stuff out of things like corners, like cutting corners off of stuff. So you kind of have to like force it into being a separate room, which I did by adding the walls diagonally across all the corners. So then you can like delete the foundation part and then you can delete the walls when you're done. Like, I don't know if there's an easier way to do it, but that's pretty much how I always do it. If I have to, or if I want to cut something out like that. So the ladders were kind of a pain. You can't stack the ladders in the game. So I kind of had to stagger them instead and I also wasn't sure what wall I wanted to put it on. I eventually settled on putting it on the wall, so this wall. So I had to move all the windows because the windows were on the, you know, non-diagonal walls. So I ended up moving them to the diagonal wall so that I could put the ladder on one of the regular walls because the ladder can't be turned to like run parallel to the diagonal walls, which is super annoying. The stairs are the same way. So why should we expect anything different for the ladders? But like I said, they, they don't stack. So I had to stagger them and I, I ended up figuring it out eventually. So like you go up the one at the bottom and you'll come out at the top and the sim should be standing right next to the next ladder. So then they can just kind of like successively go up each one. But it would have been really nice if I could stack them. Also, it is a lighthouse, so it needs a light. So I found this one and just sized it up and I didn't want to set it on the floor so I kind of made like a little pillar type thing with a platform and um I just set it up there in the middle of the the top of the tower and set that light on top of it it works it's kind of weird here in a second I'll um once I get everything in place I'll 
change the daytime over into night so that you can kind of see what it looks like at night all lit up at the top. But yeah, I did put the glass fence there so that you can see the light from outside the building because, I mean, obviously you're not going to have the light in a lighthouse totally enclosed, otherwise it doesn't do you any good. So here it is. Here it is at night. I think it looks really neat. I've tried to build light towers before in The Sims and they always turned out like really plain and bland and I hated them and I would always give up halfway through. So I was kind of nervous coming in to build this, but it turned out kind of nice. I'm really happy with what I got. I guess I just needed to actually, you know, like stick it through and actually finish it and go all the way to the end instead of giving up halfway through. So it just goes to show you what a little perseverance will do. It was still looking a little bit plain on the outside though, so I added those little, I don't know, little buttons, whatever those are called, around the outside and it looked terrible, so I deleted them. I, and I just kept playing around with different things, trying to figure out what I could add to the outside to give it a little bit more character. I considered using those, but then you'd have to put them on like certain windows or all the windows and that would just be too cluttered. I didn't want to put plants underneath the windows because that would just look too repetitive. And so what I ended up doing is I got these vines here and I put some all the way up the side on this side and there are a ton of them. I had to use a bunch because I didn't just want to put straight lines. So I, you can see that I'm just like clicking over and over and over again to kind of get them to curve and have like a more natural, like real look to them. So I put some on that side and then I add some over here on the other side as well. I add the flowers too, just that it's not just a line of green and it's really pretty. It has kind of a fairy tale look about it. I don't know. This side was a little bit more difficult because I kind of wrapped it around that corner there. So I had to make sure that when they were going up one side of the corner that they weren't like sticking over too far. Oh, I forgot I did add a little bit up at the top as well. So yeah, we didn't want the top to go without a little bit of decoration as well. So there is a little bit up at the top, which I kind of wondered if I should keep or not because like, you know, the plants at the bottom, you know, coming up from the bottom of the tower makes sense. But then you get up to the top and there's that whole like balcony that goes around the entire top of the lighthouse. I'm like, how would plants even end up growing up here? <laughs> It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but we're just going to pretend that it does because it looks pretty and move on with our day. I did the landscaping and decorating backwards. Usually I'll do the building, do the outside of the building, and then go inside and furnish it. And then at the very end, I'll do the landscaping. But I kind of put it off because I don't know what the inside of a lighthouse is looks like. I've never been in a lighthouse. So I kind of just went straight to the landscaping because I was putting off working on the inside. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention we did randomize this and the lot type that I got was generic. So that's why we don't have any, um, you know, like lot requirements up right now because there aren't any for a generic lot type. I end up changing it from generic to an actual house. Because when I do finally get around to trying to decorate the inside, I didn't want to, I didn't want to guess. So I just Googled inside of lighthouse and apparently people actually live in them. I have, <laughs> I guess that makes sense because somebody has got to actually tend to the light, right? Especially older lighthouses when they didn't have electricity, like someone actually had to go up there and, you know, make sure it was lit. So it makes sense that somebody would actually live in the lighthouse. So I do end up turning it into a residential lot type. I really love how the landscaping turned out on this. So there's like just a bunch of like low lying plants around each corner because I have the stairs going up on four sides, but I use the trees that are in Brindleton Bay, like on all sides of the building. And it ends up blending in really well with the tree line that's already there on the right side of the lot. So I think it looks really pretty and I was super pleased with it. Right, so here's where I'm just like starting to throw furniture in here. 
because I figured it would just be like sparsely furnished, you know, like just enough stuff for people to come in like and visit the lot and, you know, like maybe sit down and hang out. And then I was like, no, this isn't going to work. I need to know what's actually in a lighthouse. That's when I Googled it. And one of the pictures that I found actually had like a little bump out on one side of the lighthouse and that's where their kitchen was located. So I went ahead and added it to mine so that I could put the kitchen in there. Cause otherwise it would be really small as far as houses go. I mean, obviously you can make them smaller because like tiny houses are a thing, but I didn't really want it to be real tiny. It's already hard enough to decorate things where you have all these diagonal walls. So I was like, I'm not even gonna try to place a kitchen inside this tower with all these diagonal walls because the counters would just be a nightmare. So, I thought that adding this on the side was a brilliant idea, and so I used that idea. So instead of using the stone inside like I had everywhere else, like, because I was just kind of like imagining it just being like a big unfinished tower at first, I decided to keep the stone throughout most of the building, but with the little jut out, I just plastered it to kind of give it a look like it was originally just this tower, but then this little jut out was added on later so that, you know, they could, they could add a kitchen to their house. But even with adding the kitchen over on the side, it was still really challenging to furnish it because we had to furnish it with the diagonal walls. We had to furnish it with the ladders in weird places. And it was really fun though. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I wanted a fireplace, so I put a fireplace in there. There's no like actual chimney or anything, but there's a fireplace. So I was really struggling with figuring out how to get the seating in because there just isn't a good place to put it. I have the two chairs here, but then I end up adding a, a dining table in the kitchen area that has six chairs. And I'm like, there's only two chairs though in the living room. Like who invites like four or five other people over to their house, you know, that they would need that many dining chairs, but then there's only two, two chairs in the living room doesn't make any sense. So I end up adding a couch as well, which we'll see it here in a minute. But the couch is kind of like across from the tables on the other side of the, the coffee table because when the Sims go up that ladder, they should go up it from the other side, like, like between the ladder and the wall. So putting the couch there shouldn't interfere with the functionality of the ladder. And so I was able to kind of squeeze everything in there so that it's an actual like whole functional living room that can actually accommodate the number of people that would make sense for the large dining table that I put in. Also, I decided the person who lives here likes cats. So we put in a little cat bowl and a litter box. We'll put in a cat tree. Yep, right there. We get the little one though. Let's see. I think we put in a scratching post too over by the living room chairs. There's a bunch of cat statues upstairs. So yes, I figured that it was like an older man who lives here who likes cats. He tends to the lighthouse. He has his little, little fur buddy. He's also a painter. His uh, bedroom will have a little painting corner when we get there. The house doesn't have a TV. Like, I, I couldn't even tell you how I would fit a TV into this build, so I didn't even try. But it needed some form of entertainment downstairs in the living room, so I added that little, that little stereo over there. See, this is one of the parts where I was just struggling trying to figure out what to put on these walls so they don't look so tall and barren. So I put in a bunch of the cats and dogs stuff over there on that wall, like the, the anchor and the net and the half barrel. Then I threw in the sun just because I needed something else and I just kind of centered it on the wall there and was like, yeah, that that's, that's how we decorate houses. <laughs> and just kind of left it there because I was out of ideas. I did a couple little creative things. Like downstairs, I put one of the, I think it's got like a, teapot or tea kettle or something on a shelf with like little cups. It's like a little coffee shelf. I put it up on the mantle of the fireplace and like kind of like put it in it. And then I 
put the three mirrors there beside each other and then I use the cabinets here for the bed to kind of create like this big headboard. I've seen other people do it before but I've never done it myself so I tried it out with this particular bed and the base game cheap cabinets and it looks kind of cool. It would have been easier if I'd done it probably in any other build where I had had more room because I only have like three squares across one wall here because you know it's a little octagon. <laughs> so my headboard couldn't be very big so there's only like that one cabinet there in the middle that I could actually put stuff on but it ended up working out. Here's the little painting corner. I wanted some sort of table over by the easel so I moved it over here because I wanted to put stuff on it that kind of looked like it was a workstation for painting. So I have the cat there and then I have some pencils, you know, to like draw your sketch, you know, to start the painting. And then I put, I think it's like soap or something, but I put it there kind of thinking that like we could pretend that they're like bottles of paint and then the books there and the quill and ink. So just like little drawing slash painting art supplies. It, that was the idea. So on the third floor, I decided to put in an office. I was basing all of, all of this off of the picture that I found on Google, which it was just like this little cartoony illustration. Like it was nothing very detailed, but I, it was kind of like my inspiration for what to put on each floor, I guess. So I start putting in the desk. I've got the bookshelves. And eventually I realize that if I fill this whole floor with just an office, there's nowhere to put the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, it was right about here where I realized that I need a bathroom. So I move the couch forward and the table and then I'm trying to figure out where the heck to put a bathroom. And I didn't want a huge bathroom, but with the way that this is shaped, I had really no choice but to make like just under half of it the bathroom. Luckily the ladder, you, you go up the ladder on the opposite side of where the couch is. So I was able to successfully pull that forward and you can still go up and down the ladder. The couch can stay there and it ended up fitting okay, but that bathroom is just huge. <laughs> I managed to furnish it okay, but I don't like furnishing bathrooms. I never know what to put in them. I'm just like, well, here's the bathtub. Here's the sink. Here's the toilet. Maybe here's a, a, a cabinet or a shelf that holds everything you need. And then I'm like, okay, well, what else, what else do you put in a bathroom? I was really excited to use that anchor. I've never used that before. And this was like the perfect place to use it. I gave him a older computer. You know, we, we live in a lighthouse. It's not exactly like high tech up in here. So he got an old computer. And then I realized that you could slot things on top of the books on this desk. And I was super excited about it. So I like covered it in cats. Because obviously when you realize that you have these slots that you didn't know about, you have to fill it with cats. Well, it looks like I am just about finished. I think I'm just adding some last minute touches, curtains, couple plants, and then on the top floor I'll throw in like a stack of crates because I mean that's where the actual light for the lighthouse is so it's not a room or anything like that you live in. So I just throw some crates up there like it's extra storage and then I call the build good. So Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Drop a comment to let me know what you thought. Hit subscribe if you want to know what we're up to next time. And I will see everybody then. Thanks. Bye-bye.